Number 5 take inspired action while believing visualizing and practicing gratitude are crucial you also need to take action the law of attraction is not a passive process it requires you to take inspired action towards your financial goals as mahatma gandhi once said action expresses priorities set clear financial goals and create a plan to achieve them take steps every day no matter how small to move closer to your objectives This demonstrates your commitment to your financial desires and aligns your actions with your intentions. Number 6. Maintain patience and persistence. Manifesting money with the law of attraction may not happen overnight. It requires patience and persistence. The universe may have its own timeline for de- for delivering your financial desires and it's essential to trust the process. As Ralph Waldo Emerson wisely said, adopt the play adopt the pace of nature her secret is patience during moments of doubt or impatience remind yourself of your financial goals visualize your success and reaffirm your belief in abundance stay committed to your plan and continue taking inspired action over time your persistent your persistence will pay off number 7 release persistence and let go One of the paradoxes of attracting money using the law of attraction is that you must also learn to let go. Holding on to financial worries and anxieties creates resistance that can hinder the flow of abundance. As Eckhart Tolle advised, the moment you completely accept your non-peace, your non-peace becomes transmuted into peace. Trust that you have sent your intentions to the universe and it's working behind the scenes. to bring your desires to you trying to control every aspect of your financial journey can create resistance learn to release your grip on the outcome and have faith that everything will unfold as it should number 8 focus on generosity and giving when it comes to attracting money you must never underestimate the role of giving The act of giving and being generous can create a positive flow of abundance in your life. When you share your wealth, whether it's your time, knowledge, or resources, you send a message to the universe that you have plenty to give and are open to receiving more. As a great teacher Zig Ziglar once said, "You can have everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want." by helping others achieve their goals you create a ripple effect that can lead to unexpected opportunities and financial rewards make sure that you practice the previously mentioned principles to attract money into your life never forget by aligning your thoughts emotions and actions with your financial aspirations you can harness the power of the law of attraction to manifest the wealth and prosperity you desire As Wayne Dyer aptly put it, abundance is not something we acquire, it's something we tune into. So tune into the frequency of financial abundance and watch as your life transforms. So I hope you enjoyed this two-part video series on attracting money using the law of attraction. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. Please uh, share your comments below. I look forward to reading them. That's all for today and I'll talk to you soon. Until next time, relax, stay calm and keep moving forward. Bye.